everyone. Welcome to the Science Digital Interactive Notebook. I'm here to show you some of the skills you will need to edit this Google Slides presentation. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to know is to actually edit the title of your Google Slides presentation. Go ahead and click inside the box and then start editing. And then you can type in your name. If you're working with a partner, go ahead and type in your partner's name as well. So on the left side, you can see that there are different thumbnails of the slides that you have. Here, number one is our title or cover page. Number two is the about the author slide. I'll show you how to insert a snapshot of yourself. So we'll place one right over here. This is actually a box. So you can just go ahead and delete it by clicking on it and pressing delete. And then now go to insert, image, and then take a snapshot. So go ahead, when you're ready, click on this button and then click select if you're happy with your picture. All right, there you go. You can resize your image by using these blue squares in the corners. Now, this image is a little too wide, so I'm going to go ahead and crop it by double clicking and then adjusting it with these black lines and then clicking outside of the image. All right, so let's go to the next slide, which is num number three, the table of contents. This, this, this slide is extremely important because it will send you to the different slides you'll need to go to. So for example, if I want to go to the entry event slide, I click on it and then click on the link and then it will send you to that slide. If you want to go back to the table of contents, go ahead and click on TOC up here, click on the link and then it will send you back to the table of contents. Now right here, class notes, I did not actually insert a link to it because I wanted to show you how that works. So all you need to do is highlight the words that you want to link, click on this icon over here, or you can go to insert link. From here, you're going to click on slides in this presentation because you want to link th this um, class notes to a specific slide. So you're going to click here, and then you're going to find the slide that's called class notes right over here and then you just apply. So from now on, when you click on uh, class notes, it's gonna give you this link, and now you can go all the way to uh, that slide. Now here I want to demonstrate some of the really cool tools that you'll be using when you insert some information about any science concept that we're learning. So up here, you can click on this text box, go ahead and type in weight versus mass. All right, so what I want to do is I want to insert a text box. So you can click on this icon here. Your mouse is going to change or your cursor is going to change into a cross. You're going to click and hold it down and create a box. It'll create a text box. And when you let go, it actually creates it. Now I want you to change the font, change the size, and then add a bullet point right over here. Or you can use a number list, but I prefer bullet points for now. Go ahead and type in mass. Now you might be wondering what is mass? Now if you're wondering what mass is, Google Slides provides you with a really cool tool called research. Here you can type in any query that you have. So right now we are, we are wondering what mass is. And when you type that in, it's going to give you web results, information about what mass is, and even images. So if you're specifically looking for maybe uh, the dictionary, you can click on this drop-down menu and go to dictionary. And then it's going to give you a definition. So we learned here that mass is the amount of matter in an object, and it never changes and is measured in kilogram. All right, there you go. Now you might be wondering, how did I make a sub bullet point? All you need to do is press return from the first line and then press tab on your keyboard. All right, I'm going to add another bullet point. Now I want it to be, um, I, want it, I want the bullet point to go back here to this position right here. So what you do is you hold shift and then you press tab. Now our second term that I want to research is weight. So go ahead and type that. 
Now, as you can see, I did spell, I um, connected force and of together. So what you can do is right click. And if you're on your laptop, you can go ahead and use two fingers and tap it on the touchpad and then click the correct spelling. All right, so I have a lot of spelling mistakes, so I'll go ahead and right click and choose the correct spelling. All right, what I can do here is I can actually stretch out the text box or I can go ahead and select all and I did that by pressing command A and then changing the size. So I'll change it to 14. All right. What's really cool also is you can actually drag in images from this research tool. So I'm going to change this to images. So I'm going to go ahead and type in weight on earth versus moon. Please don't actually click on the image because if you go if you do that it will send you to the website where the image is located. So you don't want to do that. You're actually going to drag it into your slide. There you go. And you can see that there is a link to the website where the image is located. I'm going to type in contextual mass weight. So I really like this image. So I'll go ahead and drag it in. And there you go. Now remember, you can actually crop the image. So double click. And if you don't like those lines, you can adjust it to your liking. But we don't have to do that. Now, let's say you make a mistake. For example, making that line disappear. You can go ahead and click up here, undo, or you can press Command Z. And it will undo your uh, mistake. Or if you really liked your mistake, you can redo and it will go back to what how it was before. But I'm going to go go ahead and undo. So you can actually highlight two items or two objects or multiple objects and move them uh, at the same time. So now I want to check out some videos. So I'm going to find so I'm going to type I'm going to find a video on weight versus mass. You can check by clicking on preview and watching it. And if you really like it, you can go ahead and click on insert. I'll go ahead and move the text box and the images. I'll make them a little smaller. I do want to mention that in the toolbar, you will find shapes. You will also find lines and comments. So you can click on an object. So let's say you really don't like what your partner titled the slide. You can click on it and then click on add comment. And then you leave a comment by clicking on comment. A lot of the times we're going to use the design thinking process to create or engineer um, a product. So in case we do, I did add a section, slide number 16, for design thinking. And that includes its own table of, set of table of contents. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. Mr. Enzo, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. Bye.